If you are someone who comes out of a single parent home, it's time to ask some hard, tough questions. Is the results of my mother the results that I want in my own personal life? A mother's fruit is a testament to her strength, resilience, and love. It represents the sacrifices and hardships she endures to ensure the well-being of her child. However, the impact of a mother's fruit on her child's life can vary widely. While some mothers bear good fruit, others may bear bad fruit, particularly single mothers who may face unique challenges. Research has shown that single mothers are more likely to live in poverty and create a culture of poverty for their children. This can limit the opportunities and have a lasting impact on their children's lives. Moreover, a significant percentage of men come from single mother homes, which has caused partly 70% of men to be in jail. Therefore, it is important for mothers have a complete understanding of the results of their own mother's play in their life. It is natural to look at our parents for guidance and direction. However, before deciding to follow in our mother's footsteps, we need to consider the results of her life. If our mother has borne good fruit, it may be wise to emulate her ways. Conversely, if our mother has borne bad fruit, it may be necessary to chart our own path in life. Ultimately, the decision of whether to follow our mother's ways of doing things depends on various factors such as our goals and values and specifically the circumstances of our mother's life. We have the power to shape our destiny and use our mother's experience to guide us towards success and fulfillment. The fruit that our mother bear can have a significant impact on her child's life, particularly on single mothers who may face unique challenges. It is essential to consider the results of our mother's life before deciding whether to follow in her footsteps. Ultimately, we have the power to shape our destiny and learn from our mother's experiences to create a brighter future for ourselves. Understanding that if we decide to change from our mother's ways, transitioning from doing things your mother's way to your way can be a challenging emotional process. You may be starting to carve out your path in life and considering whether to follow in your mother's footsteps or chart your course. Here are some tips that I'm going to give you in order to make the transition successfully. Understand your motivation. Before making any changes, it is important to understand why you want to transition from doing things your mother's way to your way. Is it because you have different values? or goals than your mother? Or is it because you feel or limited by her ways of doing things? Understanding your motivation will help you make a more informed decision. Communicate with your mother. If your mother is a significant influence in your life, it is important to communicate with her about your decision to transition. Let her know that you respect her ways of doing things, but that you want to carve out your path in life. Be open and honest about your goals and values and be prepared to listen to her perspectives as well. Seek guidance from others. Transitioning from doing things your mother's way to your way can be daunting, but you do not have to do it alone. Seek guidance and support from others in your life, such as a mentor, friend, or family members who have gone through a similar process. They can offer valuable insight and advice on how to navigate this transition. Take small steps. 
Making a significant change in your life can be overwhelming. So it is important to take small steps. Start by identifying one area in which you want to transition from doing things your mother's way to your way, and then gradually build from there. This will help you build confidence and momentum as you move forward. Be patient. Transitioning from doing things your mother's way to your way is not an overnight process. It takes time and patience to make a significant change in your life. Be kind to yourself and allow yourself the space and time you need to make this transition successful. Transitioning from doing things your mother's way to your way can be challenging process, but it is ultimately necessary to carve out your own path in life. By by understanding your mother's motivations, communicating with your mother, seeking guidance from others, taking small steps, and being patient. You can successfully make this transition and create a fulfilling and authentic life for yourself. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button, share this video, subscribe, and hit all bell notifications so that you know when Uncle Stu drops another video. This is Uncle Stu, the old man on the block. Peace.